Imagine we're walking to the market. We walk 30 meters straight. Then we take a left turn and walk 40 meters. The total path we walked is called distance. So here, the distance is 70 meters. But what about displacement? Displacement is the shortest path from home to market. If we draw the path, it forms a right-angled triangle. Let's find the hypotenuse, the shortest path. We use the formula, c square equals a square plus b square. Here, a is 30 and b is 40. So, c square equals 30 square plus 40 square, that is 2500. Now, c is square root 2500 or 50 meters. So, displacement is 50 meters. That's shorter than the actual distance of 70 meters. Here's something cool. Distance is a scalar quantity. It has only magnitude. Displacement is a vector. It has magnitude and direction. So, displacement is 50 meters northeast. Now, suppose we return home the same way. That's another 30 meters plus 40 meters equals 70 meters. So, total distance is 70 plus 70 equals 140 meters. But displacement, it's zero. Why? Because we came back to the starting point. Now let's talk about speed. Say it took us 100 seconds to reach the market. Speed is distance over time. So speed is 70 by 100, or 0.7 meter per second. Speed is scalar, no direction needed. But what about velocity? Velocity equals displacement over time. So velocity is 50 by 100, or 0.5 meter per second northeast. 